So I went to Sonny's Barbecue, check it out right there, Sonny's Barbecue, and I went with the, uh, I don't know, what is it called? The Big Deal? I think it's the Big Deal. I got that big sweet tea. I got a side of, you know what this is, yeah, that's mac and cheese, and then I got the large. There's two sizes. I got the large pulled pork sandwich on garlic bread. Eat your heart out McRib. We're gonna check out the big deal. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so we got the, uh, I don't know, knife and fork combo from the folks over at Sonny's. Uh, so let's just get uh, right into it. Again, shout out McRib. We just had the final tally. I think it was something like 113 people did not like the McRib and like 88 people liked the McRib. Uh, so we ended up taking top spot in our opinions on the McRib. Let's try out this right here. That's a side of their um, mac and cheese uh, over at Sonny's. Got a large sweet tea and then the large uh, pulled pork sandwich on garlic bread. Take a bite. It's all right. We need something. We need something. And there needs to be a little bit more in the bowl, not gonna lie. Small bowl, it is what it is. Got the big deal. I think the big deal, 14 bucks. 14 bucks for the sandwich, huge sandwich. Uh, the large uh, sweet tea, and then the side of mac and cheese. Yeah. And also, the sandwich does not come with uh, barbecue sauce. Maybe you could ask. I got two pouches. I got the sweet uh, barbecue sauce. And I got the uh, OG original barbecue sauce. Uh, let's clean the palate and go right into the star of the show, the garlic bread uh, pulled pork sandwich. Also right there, right there, I got a side order of the redneck egg rolls. Those are really good the last time I tried it. All right, so there you go. We're gonna take a bite of this huge uh, pulled pork sandwich. You see the toasted um, garlic bread. Ooh, that smells good. Let me take a bite without the barbecue sauce and then we're dousing it. We're dousing it with the BBQ. Uh, here we go. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Sunnies. Mm. Smoke rings, smoky flavor. Tender texture. Mm. All right, check it out. Did a little dip on a section right there. Like I said, tender, packed, flavor of the uh, garlic bread coming through. A nice little addition. Not traditional, not traditional, uh, but I could have ordered it. I could have changed up the bun. I did not want to. I wanted to experience it on the uh, garlic bread. I did something similar. I think it was a grilled cheese uh, brisket sandwich uh, a couple months ago from Sunny's. Let's take a bite. I enjoyed that. I'm enjoying this. Again, this, this ain't no processed rib meat right here. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Slow dancing with some BBQ. Mm. I mean, that is so good. You want to look at the um, redneck egg rolls. Check it out right there. Smoky Ranch. And then you have the fried egg rolls filled with, I believe, jack cheese and uh, more pulled pork. It's a pulled pork kind of day. All right, so listen. I know it is unfair to compare a fast food sandwich to a place like this. I just wanted to get my point across. I get it. A lot of people out there love the uh, McRib, but a processed piece of meat formed to look like a rib when you have this uh, right on the horizon. And like I said, 14 bucks for that huge sandwich and a side and a drink. We won't count that. That cost me nine bucks. But wow, 
This is really, really good. And it was a big deal. I feel like I'm on, what's that show? Let's Make a Deal. Yeah, I feel like I'm on Let's Make a Deal. And I just picked curtain number three and I got the big deal of the day. And it's a uh, great uh, pulled pork sandwich. You want a bite? You want a bite? You want a bite? Again, I'd share. I'd share, trust me. Mm. So much meat going on. Mm. All right, so listen, I'm just enjoying the big deal of the day. You want to see one of those? Um, I'm going to take a bite of one of these. I can do that. All right, so light up the comments below. Sunny's, it is a chain, uh, but it does bring the flavor. I will give you that. This seems not as thick as before. This seems not as thick as before. I don't want to dump it out. Let's just put that down to the side uh, for a moment. Just for a moment, I'm going to give you a bite of this. I have plenty of dipping options in the refrigerator if that is just on the uh, watery side. Do I want to just break this in half and show you? I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's all right. I guess it kind of works. All right, there you go. Inside of a red neck egg roll. All right, let's rip this off. Oh, a lot going on. Take a bite. Yum. Need more cheese. Needs more cheese. All right, let's just keep it real with the whole uh, big deal experience. Uh, as a bonus, I will just tell you that those are not as good as when I got them the first time. It might even be a little bit undercooked and it needs more cheese, at least in the one I bit. Uh, this needed to just be a little bit bigger for a side, uh, but the sandwich was amazing. Really enjoyed that. $14 in the sweet tea. A lot of sweet and a lot of tea. So I enjoyed uh, my experience uh, a heck of a lot better than I did the McRib, and that's all I was really shooting for. If I had to give uh, this whole experience a rating, it'd be like an 82. It'd be like an 82, only for the couple little things that kind of uh, held this back a little bit. But this sandwich right here is a straight up 9-0. 90, that's 9.0 round number. Put it into your endorsement notebooks. Log it in. Yeah, log it in. All right, final bite. We'll send you on your way. Sunny's Barbecue hitting the spot today. And um, I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. All right, so listen, thank you for joining me. That's another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, uh, let me know. Sonny's, are you a fan? And um, does this beat the McRib? Those all better be yeses. Those all better be yeses. All right, thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon with some more reviews. It is expensive, but it is top tier. Uh, so I checked my Jersey Mike playlist because I just saw an article about them that we'll talk about during this uh, video. Uh, but I was like, whoa, I've never reviewed the uh, famous Philly cheesesteak from uh, Jersey Mike's. It's in this paper bag. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so I went with the regular uh, famous Philly cheesesteak. Now, let me tell you, there's a lot of uh, Philly cheesesteak purists out there, and there is a difference between just a cheesesteak and something being called a Philly cheesesteak. Now, normally, a Philly cheesesteak would have the uh, chopped up steak and then would have a uh, cheese whiz, uh, predominantly cheese whiz, and then maybe some onions and peppers, and that's it. That's it. But the folks over at Jersey Mike's, they don't have the cheese whiz. Uh, they do it with 
American cheese. I've seen some places do it with uh, provolone. Uh, and when you look up the definition or you Google what are the ingredients uh, found in a Philly cheesesteak, you normally get cheese whiz with the steak. And then they say sometimes you're going to get American cheese and provolone. I prefer American cheese. If the American cheese is creamy, like Jersey Mike's is, and uh, yeah, so there you go, a little brief history. I'm sure you all knew that about the Philly cheese steak. I can't believe eight years on the channel, I did not review this sandwich. It's the number 17 on the board, and it is piping hot. It is piping hot. Let me give you the first look outside of the wrapper. Check it out right there. I can't see it. Can you see it? All right, there you go. Let's let it cool down for a second and we'll check it out. All right, so we got someone parking right next to me. How you doing, sir? All right, so check it out one more time. It is easier to hold. This thing is packed onions and the uh, peppers right there and the uh, American cheese melted into the mix with the fresh steak chopped on the flat top. Whew, this bad boy was uh, $9.19, I believe, but I will tell you this. I am not a snob when it comes to paying for quality food. And uh, the only time I'll mention if something is overpriced for something that's too small, hence my Burger King review that I think I launched yesterday or the day before. Uh, but something like this where I know it is quality, I know it tastes good. Uh, this is the regular size. I think the uh, jumbo, what do they call it? The jumbo, the giant, the giant uh, was like $15. But I'm going to go right into this, the famous Philly. Now, the reason I am going into this uh, review and wanted to do this, well, I wanted to do a Jersey Mike's review, and then I was like, okay, which one am I going to do? I'm pretty sure I've done the Philly. I'm pretty sure I've done this, uh, but I've never done the number 17. I've done the Can Crow Special. That's a, uh, what is it, a secret menu item. I've done the uh, Portobello cheesesteak. I've done a uh, chicken cheesesteak, uh, and I think I've done one other one other. Uh, but let me take a bite of this and I'll tell you about the article I just read about Jersey Mike's. Big news for Jersey Mike's. Let's take a bite. Here we go. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Check it out right there. Tons of cheese, the great flavor and tenderness of that steak, uh, and the onions and peppers giving it that extra uh, texture and flavor. Uh, now, I just saw an article that said that uh, Jersey Mike's is the fastest growing uh, chain that's out there right now. I think they opened uh, 246 stores from 2020 to 2021, and we all know about 2020. Uh, I think they have, what was the total? I'll have to put the total up on the screen now of how many total uh, locations they have across the country. But uh, Jersey Mike's doing it right. They slice the uh, meat right in front of you if you get a nice deli sub, and uh, I love it. It's top tier, and I challenge you to find a chain that does a Philly cheesesteak or a cheesesteak as well as Jersey Mike's. I think Penn Station, I don't have a Penn Station around me. People have mentioned Penn Station, uh, but let me take a bite. This is good. The number 17, whew, a little cheat day for me, and I'm all about it. I'm all about it. All right, I got a little loud right there. Sorry. Mmm, the bread. So soft. All right, so listen. They pack this. I had to wait a little bit because they make it fresh right on the flat top. Uh, I think it took me, I don't know, seven to ten minutes. And then they're like, hey, your sandwich is ready. They threw it at me. I caught it like a football. I'm done. None of that happened. But um, all right, let me show you one more cross section. Uh, the fastest growing chain in America for the past, what, two years, Jersey Mike's uh, opening up 200 chains in one year. Let's go. Let's go, Jersey Mike's. I get it. I know the prices are high. The prices have always been high over at Jersey Mike's, but I will go once a month, once every two months, get my Jersey Mike fix. I'm not eating Jersey Mike's every day. This is a special occasion. I was in the mood for it. Wanted to give you a review since I haven't done a uh, Jersey Mike's review in a while. And then I noticed I've never done this sandwich. And I was like, whoa, that is a travesty. That's correct. A travesty. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. 
All right, so listen, one more look. Let me show you the bottom of the bun. Like I said, it is so soft, has a nice texture on the bottom, kind of like cornmeal. Have to check to see if they put cornmeal on the bottom of their subs. Jam packed with the filling. This is a top quality sub. I love Jersey Mike's. Uh, one of my other go-tos at Jersey Mike's, if I'm not getting a hot sub, I get the, uh, what's the number? Is it seven, uh, the turkey? I get the turkey Mike's way minus the tomatoes chef's kiss. All right, I did say last bite, but this is the last bite because I'm staring at it and I'm drooling. I'm drooling. <laughs> that is the universal sign for drooling. Uh, this is the final bite. We'll give it a rating. Mm. The way that bread just meshes in. Mm. So good. One more look. One more look. I'd share. I'd share if you were here. That's the kind of guy I am. All right, so listen, uh, nothing left to do but give it a rating on a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the number 17 famous Philly cheesesteak from Jersey Mike's a rating of... Whew, that is up there for a chain. I will say I'm not comparing it to an authentic a spot you're going to get in Philly or uh, anywhere else near there, Pennsylvania area, uh, or even Chicago or some of these other places that make a really good uh, cheesesteak. But for a chain uh, cheesesteak, a chain Philly, I'm going to give this a solid 95. This is up there, Mount Rushmore for me, for cheesesteaks from a chain. And uh, that's all I got to say. I'm excited. I finally got it. It's in the repertoire. It is going to go into the Jersey Mike's uh, playlist. And uh, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, uh, let me know, Jersey Mike's, yes or no? And if it's a no, I, I just need to hear why. If you're going to say price, it's quality, it's great. I get the price. I uh, wish it was cheaper. Trust me, I'd probably go more often. Uh, so let me know in the comments below your thoughts on Jersey Mike's. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, Jersey Mike's review. And uh, you had a great weekend or are still having a great weekend. Not sure when this video is going to be launched uh, this weekend or Monday or Tuesday. Uh, that's what happens when you film, film, film and launch, launch, launch. So uh, thank you all for joining me. And we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.